Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss and show you how we read the data from the tables. Okay, so sometimes we are getting the uh, in the sometime in our test cases we are getting to where we need to verify the data into the tables. Like if there is sorting features, where if I click, data is sorted in ascending or descending order, right? We need to verify data is sorted. Sometime if we are adding something, we need to verify data is added in the tables, added and reflected in the table or not. So let's see how we verify, how we get the table data, how we read the table data by using Selenium Web Driver. So added one test, test here some steps which will navigate to the URL for this table. Now, if I want to read all the values, suppose that name values, okay? So let's see how we do that. So first of all, we need to create element locators, which will find all the text from the last name. Okay, let me create element. So here is ID, we can pick the ID, table ID. Then we have T body, then we have TR, TR is basically one row and this is the TD. So we can use here nth type of. So I added here nth of type passing the index number. So basically this is first td. First td represent to the last name. Second td will represent to the first name. Similar type third td represent to the email id. Right like this. So if we are want to read the last name then we can pass here the one. If I click on next you can see it traversing to the only the last name column. So if I use this locator, it means we can find out all the elements which are last name, contains last name, name value. So as we discussed in the last tutorial, there is a driver dot find elements method which will give us the all the web element object. So now I am going to use here driver dot find elements. It will return the list of the web element. I stored in a list variable. Then we can iterate for element in list element. Then let's print element dot text. Let me run now the test. So we need to call the pi test. Selenium, then table data. Now value is not printed. Let's pass. Value is not printed, so need to pass hyphen s. Okay, now you can see all the values are coming here. So all the value I capture here printed, but if you want to store in any list object, let's create a variable like I'm creating here last name, data last name, this is array type. So while we are retrieving here value, we can add Suppose that this is last name variable. I am storing element dot text, then storing in a last name variables. Let's add this in array append last name. Now, if I print the array, you will see 
all the value of last name okay let me run again printed so by using the here driver dot find elements we can capture all the values of a column now if we want to verify the table data is sorted or not so first of all we need to click here last name so in that case you can see data is sorted so let's find the locators of last name so that we can click so let's create a xpath So this is the X path. Okay, so copy this path and go to your test. Before going to capture the data, let let's click a click here so that data is sorted. This is X path. Okay, and then dot click method. So it will click on the last name. And data is sorted in ascending order. After that, I am going to capture the data and then print verify the data. You can see data is sorted here and now we are getting here sorted data so if i want to verify this then we can copy this array in a different value like expected this is we can use actual okay so this is the one array where i am copying the from the original and storing in one variable now i'm going to use the sorting so calling the dot sort method so it will sort the array value what we have in the data last name next we can use assert to verify both values like equal to equal to with actual let me now run the test. Okay, here you can see it's passed. If we want to verify in descending order, one more click we need to do here. After that, it's sorted in the descending order. So let's show you how we sort this in descending order. So again, one click we need to perform uh, two times we need to perform the click here so then it will start in the descending order let me run now the test here you can see the test is failed why because here is the ascending order i am sorting this in ascending order but actual is in descending order so now if you want to sort in descending order we need to call reverse equal to true okay then in that case it will sort in descending order so first perform double click data will sort in descending order from the ui and then capturing all the values and storing in a list after that this is the original i am copying in one variable this is contains one array and then sorting in the reverse order reverse means uh, descending order now going to run the test you can see the test is passed successfully so in this way we can verify the uh, table data sorting in uh, ascending and descending order the values now next 
Suppose that sometime we need to click on particular button based on some value. Like we need to click on edit button relative to the email. So in that case, we need to find the locators of the email. We, after that, we need to search the email which is available in the list. Once the value is matched, we need to click on edit button in corresponding email ID, right? So let's see how we do in using Selenium. Same locator we can use this one. This time, because I am going to verify, click on edit button against the email, right? Any particular email value. So let's capture the value, uh, values of the all email ID. So in that case, we need to find the locator of the email. So this will traverse the email ID. Now, pass this email ID here, email ID locators, and here list element. Let me give the email address. Here, storing in email. Okay. If email equal to equal the value, like suppose that we are going to click against this email ID. So if this is equal to the email ID, then we need to click on the edit button. So in that case, we need to find the edit button locators because we are going to click on edit button. Okay. So and then driver dot find element here dot click method. Okay. So let me update here the locator of the edit button. So if I go here and we can change this index fifth six is the edit num value then a anchor tag first one first one is the edit button so copy this go to here paste okay so we can create here xpath because we are going to click the element which is uh, particular row numbers like if this is the second then we need to click on the second row so let me create the x path that will be easily we can find the value table slash tr td six then a okay this is the edit button locator now only we need to change here index number if we pass one it will be first index second for the second column second row third for the third row right this is the dynamic based on the iteration here we can change the index number so now what we can do we can initialize one value i equal to equal to one okay update here i i is the just kind of row number plus plus i okay now here then after i can increase i plus equal to one this will go outside once we click call the break statements so what i am doing here first i am capturing all the elements locator elements of the uh, email column then iterating and getting the email one by one storing in email id email variables verifying if email id is email address is equal to the email what is our expected email if this is match then directly clicking on the edit button Now running the test. Yeah. 
yeah there is some issue okay here this is a numeric value so we need to use here str then it will append this is x path so we need to path here x path Yeah, it's, you can see it's clicked we can see here so in this way we can we can search the value in the table and perform the like edit delete operation on any particular element hope this will be helpful like how we handle the table data how we verify the sorting in uh, ascending or descending orders of the columns how we click to relative any particular row value thanks for watching the video if you have not subscribed the channel Please subscribe the channel and click on bell icon so that you can get the late notification of the latest video. Also share this tutorial to your friend, colleague and add a comment if you have any query.